I like weaponizing underdogs. I was an underdog. Grew up in France. I was a foreign kid everywhere I lived. And when I was 16, my dad suggested that I would start rowing at a Swiss club on my vacation days while still living in France. I went and it was a competitive club, but they did not know what to do with me because my technique was not that good. And so they put me in a single skull. When I was rowing on a lake during a camp, an Easter rowing camp, and we knew that the national team coach was going to come by and check out some of the rowing that, that the club was doing. It was a beautiful Easter morning. I could hear the church bells ring and echo across the lake in Switzerland. It was amazing. And I was rowing along and I knew that coach was out there. And I saw him at the distance. Those lakes are really big, so it's like a, you can see someone at the horizon. And I was rowing along. And then I saw the coaches, the national team coaches launch, veer away from the boat that he was following and started driving the launch towards me. And it took a while because I was that far away. But somehow, Harry Mann from New Zealand spotted something and thought, who, what, I'm going to check that out. So he said, that was my first time saying hello to Harry Mann. Harry, the reason why so many coaches that I've worked with have become that successful. He's the reason why gold medals are still won at the Olympics. Harry Mann. And thanks to him, from being in a way an underdog, not really fitting in, he weaponized me. I love weaponizing underdogs because underdogs aren't part of the group. Living in foreign countries as a kid, I wasn't part of the group. Coming to Brown University as a recruited athlete, I wasn't part of the group either at the beginning because, you know, there were certain groups that came from different schools, some private schools. And I was a freshman, and then within the team at that time, you had varsity and freshmen. So the freshmen weren't really part of the group until they were sophomores. And that, give me, give me an environment like this, and I just go, I feed. I feed on that adverse energy. <laughs> and these experiences of overcoming being an underdog is what I greatly, 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 greatly enjoy in sharing, explaining, building the rowers that find me who need to improve their ERG score to get into the better boat in the club, to get recruited to college. The rowers that are six feet tall, but they need to have a much better ERG score in order to get recruited as a heavyweight rower. I thrive on that. And it feels amazing to watch my rowers access their dreams, because I was able to coach, pass the information along, show them how to zig when they need to do zag as well. 
and getting there. I love weaponizing underdogs. I'm not saying if you're a top dog that you shouldn't also get my coaching and get from, let's say, 6.15 to 6.05. I can help you do that. And the people at 6.05, I can get them to 5.55. And the people who are at 5.55, I can get them to 5.45. Not sure about further down. Okay, I'm being realistic. The women, if you're, if you're trying to break 8, I can help you break 8. If you try to break 740, done. Breaking 705, uh, it gets harder. Okay. So, I thought I would share that. Let's go. Let's get it done. Let's get you recruited to the college of your dream because it's a life-changing experience. Like it was for me. Thanks to the coaches that I had. Over and out.